Hey folks, welcome back to the channel where today we will discuss the best gaming PC on the market. We can jump straight into the video without wasting any time. Do check out the description for more info and its pricing. Alienware Aurora R12 The Alienware Aurora R12 uses Nabita's latest graphics to deliver awesome power, and this rig also serves up excellent build quality and support. But while Intel's processors are better for gaming, AMD's chips remain superior for demanding workloads. Most Alienware Aurora R12 models get their gaming grunt from the Vita GeForce RTX 3000 series graphics cards, and that's a tremendous place to start for a gaming PC. These cards are the best around right now thanks to the superb Ampere architecture, lashings of memory, and proper ray tracing. More affordable Alienware Aurora R12 machines use the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, which is the perfect card for playing games at 1080p and for tackling eSport titles like Fortnite, Warzone, and League of Legends on 144Hz and 240Hz displays. The RTX 3070 is a more powerful mainstream option that'll handle any game at 1080p and 1440p. It's ideal for widescreens too. The Aurora R12 is ideal for people who want to play top-end games and have a machine that looks superb. Dell's support systems and warranties make the Aurora R12 suitable if you want a system that will be well looked after too. If you want a safety net, Dell provides it. HP Omen Obelisk If splurging on a gaming PC is your next investment move, then the HP Omen Obelisk is a powerhouse to consider. For something so simple, the HP Omen Obelisk is surprisingly attractive. With its glass side window and obelisk-inspired facade trimmed with the Renegade Omen logo, it's got a lot of style in its otherwise straightforward chassis. This is an appealing gaming PC that isn't so over-the-top in its gaming aesthetic that it ends up looking gaudy. The side panel pops open effortlessly. All you need to do is press the large, textured button on the back. This gives you easy access to the interior, especially if you'd like to upgrade or customize. The two hard bay drives located behind the front panel use tabs to lock the hard drives in place and pop them out quickly should you need to. One awesome thing about this Omen Obelisk configuration is that it touts the new Nabita GeForce RTX 2080. Simply put, it's a powerhouse capable of running any processor hungry, graphics heavy AAA game seamlessly so that your gaming experience is completely immersive. That applies to similarly demanding applications like video editing programs. Corsair Vengeance A4100 if you're looking to kickstart your profession as the next big Twitch streamer, the last thing you need to bother about is letting down your audience because your broadcast crapped out in the center of your epic Call of Duty Warzone match. Enter the Corsair Vengeance A4100. This powerful AMD RTX combo indicates that you'll be ready to play and stream most games without much trouble. What makes this system stand out is the addition of the Elgato 4K60 Pro Capture Card, which provides for delay-free 4K gameplay footage capture from your gaming PC, consoles, or 4K camera through HDMI. This powerful Corsair rig has everything you require for gaming, streaming, and everything else in between. If you were searching for a pre-built desktop for a high-end streaming production, the Vengeance A4100 has everything you want out of the box. With standardized parts and a capture card, you can treat this like a PC you made and upgrade it down the line. Suppose you're more of a novice streamer. In that case, the capture card might be optional, in which case you could look at something like the Corsair Vengeance 6182 or HP Omen Obelisk, which gives similar or better gaming power, though you won't get much in the way of savings. They're valued similarly or on some configurations higher. MSI MPG Trident 3. The MSI MPG Trident 3 10SI 002 US mini gaming desktop computer carries a ton of computing power into a tiny form factor, enabling you to instantly store it into a bag and take it to parties, events, tournaments, and more. 
The system might also lay vertically or horizontally on a stand without obstructing airflow from the ventilated side panel, enabling you to configure it to best suit your situation. Highlighting a 2.9 GHz Intel Core i5-10400F 6-core processor, 8 GB of DDR4-2400 memory, and a quick 512 GB PCIe solid-state drive with a 1 TB hard drive, this computer gaming system is intended to reduce load times for complex 3D games and easily multitask applications. Based on the turning architecture, the dedicated Navita GeForce GTX 1660 Super Graphics card is designed to give exceptional frame rates at high resolutions to provide smooth visuals to your games with a minimum stutter. Connect the included Vigor GK30 RGB gaming keyboard and clutch GM11 RGB gaming mouse to the USB 2.0 ports along with other peripherals while maintaining the USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A and Type-C ports to transfer data from cooperative peripherals at up to 5 gigabytes. There is also a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port and a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port that can transfer up to 10 gigabytes with harmonious devices. Other peculiarities include 7.1 channel audio, 802.11 AX Wi-Fi, and a gigabit ethernet port that give fast network connections for smooth online gaming, video streaming, and live stream broadcasts. Dell G5. Dell's latest laptop delivers a killer combo of in-game frame rates, next-gen features, value, and well, game-changing battery life. With the Dell G5 155590, Dell is aggressively courting gamers who want to game on the go for much less than you'd expect and it has done so successfully by skipping all the bells and whistles and focusing on specs and performance. Of course, thanks to the bigger 90WHR battery our review model came with, it's a bit pricier than its normal configuration. Still, the Dell G5 155590 is affordable as you can get without compromising on performance. As ever with Dell notebooks, configuration availability varies frequently over time and with the location. But the good news is that the wide range of options means that you can usually spec yours up to deliver on the things you care about and avoid paying for hardware you're not going to use. Anyway, literally out of the box, the Dell G5 155590 mostly impresses. The chassis is a mix of metal and plastic and feels extremely robust. The monochrome backlit keyboard, likewise, is absolutely rock solid. Put simply, this is a portable that feels like it can take a beating. CyberPower PC Gamer Extreme BR. The latest version of CyberPower PC's Gamer Extreme features an Intel Core i5 9400F processor, a Navita GeForce GTX 1660 graphics card, 8 GB of RAM, and 120 GB SSD and 1 TB hard drive. All for an entry level price. The machine's internal components are accessible through a removable side panel that's screwed by thumb screws. The top provide a toolless way to access the insides. Once you remove the tinted glass panel, you have access to the motherboard, solid state drive, RAM, and graphics card. The power supply and hard drive are housed behind the metal side panel on the opposite side. With tinted glass, the gamer looks clean when powered off. When turned on, there's a lot in the unit to keep you excited, ranging from the RGB backlighting throughout the case to the liquid-cooled processor. Cable work is excellent and that keeps things tidy and helps with airflow. In addition to the gamer's strong processing performance, the unit's entry-level GTX 1660 graphics keep the unit firmly in the consideration of enthusiast gamers who don't need newer features like real-time ray tracing and deep-learned super sampling. DLSS. Giving up these technologies to hit a lower price point sounds like a winning strategy for Navita. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check the description box for the product link. For more such tech-related videos, subscribe to our channel and let us know what product reviews you'd like to see next in the comments section.